I've been a throw up the sex in a Welcome back to all my GBS cadets out there. We have a Pearl Hammer Razor Review today. Here's the box. I purchased this from the wet shaving store about two weeks ago. It's Indian made. It uh, says luxurious man's grooming products with vast range, a razor worth owning. Look, James, it's your box, it opens up like this. And then inside you find your thank you and your instructions and other products they sell. And they give you a pack of these little Uh, handle damage preventers or base plate handle scratch preventers, whatever the hell you want to call them. Thank you card. Your Supermax blades, which are sputtered platinum. I believe there's 10. And then you have your uh, open comb, normally comes in the bottom, but my uh, safety bar types in the bottom because I just did a head shave with it. Uh, and it was very, very, very enjoyable. So far, I have no complaints on this razor. Um, here it is, and it's Glory. So there's Pearl. And on one side and made in India on the other. It says the same thing on the other one, but the open comb is not sharp whatsoever. It's uh, similar to the carve and the design. The handle is uh, smooth and it tapers down, tapers back down to barber pole. It's not something that's going to hurt your hands, but you're not going to have any trouble holding onto this razor whatsoever. I find this part down here really nice as an extra security for the to, for holding the razor and they put their logo on the bottom, which I love. What I also love is it stands up so you don't need a stand. And with all pearl razors, I find if they don't come with another handle or they don't come with another base plate, they always include a stand. Um, very nice. I got this from the wet shaving store. Affiliate code in bio and thumbnail. It was about 51 bucks, something like that. And I mean, it's, it's uh, got a little weight to it. I don't know exactly how much, but it's a brass coated. It's brass that's been coated. And, uh, I've got just some uh, regular old uh, India Gillette here. That was sent from Andy a few months ago. I don't know if he meant to put it in there, but he did. Thank you, Andy, <laughs> if you put it in there. But figured I'd, you know, just use something basic and this right here is a really good cream, especially for the price. Uh, I'm whipping it up with Smoog Owner's Club Cherry Wood. I love this brush. It's a bore brush. It's about 55 bucks, I think, something like that. Highly recommend going out and picking one up. I don't think the wood shaving store has them, but I could be wrong. And then top it off we're gonna go with soccer blue from phoenix artisan accoutrements which yeah i think i used it once but i have not used that soap yet but anyway 
I put about as much soap in this little Amazon ceramic bowl. I love this bowl. Put about as much as you'd put on a toothbrush. And off camera, I use the rest of my Leaf Prototype Post Pre and Post Shave. Um, oil, which I really love. And I don't even know if they sell it anymore. So. These are bats, and they're getting uh, a lot of lather on them, which I don't care. I can rinse them right off. They come right out easily. These are called hangers. I wouldn't have gotten them, but they're freaking little baby bats. How could you not buy that? Anyway, getting off topic here. Here we go. Second use of the blade. First juice on the face. Mm. Zero overhang to be aware of. If you're somebody that cares about that, no overhang. Only time I really care about it is when I'm head shaving. And, uh, it's a lot easier to cut behind your ears. Or cut yourself when you're trying to shave behind your ears. The blades are actually pretty damn good. I've used these blades before. I have two or three other, I have three other pearl razors I probably could have got it straight from Pearl For 25 bucks shipping out especially Andy's going through a hard time right now so and even if he would wasn't I'd probably still go ahead and get it from him but uh I'm a whole bunch of my shit from him If he has it, and normally he does. And if he doesn't, he'll get it. First pass done. Beautiful. By the way, it's got a barber pole type spiral on the handle to be in the early. It's really nice. Hope everyone's well. Having great shaves out there.
Use, uh, by the way, thank you to whoever is using my uh, wet shaving store affiliate link and whoever else is using any other of my links. I really appreciate it. Um, it just brings me more products to show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you if you want to know this razor or this cream that puts off a uh, really pleasant scent for me. It's like a barber shoppy type scent. Um, it's got more kick to it than some artisan soaps. Not many artisan soaps, but some. Um, I'd give it a six out of 10 all day long. It just smells very nice. Barber shoppy, um, slightly powdery, but not really. Um, it's just really meant to be a clean, scent, I believe. And I had been wanting to try this for a while. Like, <clears throat> I've been using this cream Sorry about that. Almost every time I go to work, I use this cream and I love it. You can whip it up so fast. And uh, give me a moment. Go ahead and pop these out because they're just gonna get in my way. I figured they'd be easier to wear shaving, but apparently not. That's fine there. If you're wondering, I have fisticuffs product in my mustache. My mustache. Uh, it's called an aphrodisiac. Really love the smell of it. I don't know if I said that last time or not, but if I did, I said it again. So, all right, let's go into the humongous alum bar stick. I mean, first time using the open comb on my face. So. And stings tiny bit. It's nothing to cry about. It's right there on the neck, mainly. And a little bit on the jawline. But besides that, it's a damn good shave. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Do I regret burn, uh, burning it? Do I regret purchasing it? No. Very, very excited to try out other blades in it. Um, so what the blade looks like, if you've never seen a Supermax Platinum. I'm gonna two and done that. Rinse my top cap, take my washer off my face plate, rinse that. And then I'll 
draw that after I, after you guys get to laugh at me when I'm Macaulay Culkin the hell out of this aftershave. Cause I know it's gonna burn. So good. Here we go. That's gonna be my head once I apply this or my face missing. Oh God, that smells so good. I haven't even like used this for a shave before. I'll just put it on to see what it smelled like. Wait a second. Some of that alcohol evaporate. It does help. Wow. It's like, wow. No! Mm. That's what I needed. Sometimes you feel like shit. Just go get you a shave in, man. I'm telling you, it'll, my morale booster is an understatement. So, yeah, that was that. Uh, first impression review, I'd give that a solid 7.5 out of 10. Possibly an 8. So, and that's on the open comb. Stay tuned for another uh, advent calendar soap video slash review. And then stay tuned for the other cap or the other, the safety plate for this razor. Let's see how it shaves. That was three days growth on the head and face i believe and it did the head in two passes no problem so if you're interested in this razor or any of the products i'm sure you can find it somewhere in my affiliate links so hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna get out of here and go well you don't need to know all that but thanks for tuning in i really appreciate it guys thanks for all your support affiliates friends all you guys, shave on, brothers. <laughs>